Hey there folks, got an RU battle for you today against That's My Latios. This is, without a doubt, the stalliest battle I have ever had in my life. Uh, so probably what's going to happen here is that I'm going to cut out at some point and just come back to the battle at a later point because there's stretch of the battle where absolutely nothing happens. It's just back and forth switching, uh, wish stalling, uh, toxic stalling, really nothing happens. So anyway, Archeops, he leads off with Archeops. Uh, I switch out into my Gargon thinking that I really didn't want to take an Earthquake. Um, even though I got off the Intimidated against him, I probably actually survived an Earthquake, but I didn't want to lower my HP so quickly. I switch out Gargon at this point, go into George III, knowing that I can take one Leech Storm, assuming he's not Choice Specs. He kills me, he's Choice Specs. I could not believe it, I've never seen one of these Rotoms be Choice Specs. I'm like, damn it! So that is really not good because I have lost one of the three Pokemon in my Regenerator core right off the bat. Now I put his Alamolo to sleep with my Gargon, that's my Tangela, and he switches out into Entei. Obviously going to switch out here, but I've got the perfect counter for Entei. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and Leech Seed on the switch. Gonna, uh, that's going to be good for me because Entei is going to take some damage. I'm going to go out and switch out into Tuesday, my Quillfish, uh, with the Intimidate, with the Typing. This player Blitz isn't really going to do very much, and I feel pretty safe. He gets the burn, and that's really going to do more damage than any of his attacks, to be honest. Um, but I'm re recovering health with Leech Seed, and so that's actually balancing out the burn. So I can just go ahead and set up my first round of spikes. Now, he has Sand Slash on his team, so I know he's got a spinner, and I have no spin blocker, so this is a little bit of a risky strategy. But I'm just going to go ahead and set up at least one layer of spikes. going to want to switch out here because I know I can't take a choice specs on Volt, uh, Volt Switch. Instead, he goes for the Leaf Storm, printing me to go out into someone to take the Volt Switch. Um, Gargon takes that hit decently well. I calc it and think I can probably take one more hit. I survive on 12. I'm like, thank god. That was way too close. I go for the Hidden Power Fire. It's super effective, does about a third. That's really not going to be too much against that Rotom. Going to go out into my Audino. Uh, he's going to switch out his Rotom, go into Sand Slash, and now yeah, I'm like, okay, well, Jig is up. He's going to go ahead and spin away my spikes. So the question is, I mean, I do get him poisoned, so if I can stall him out a little bit, I can at least rack up some poison damage. So I go ahead and protect here. He goes for the Stealth Rocks, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, that works for you. Uh, really bad prediction on my part, but uh, good for you. I'm going to go ahead and have to switch out here, go out into my Gargon. Luckily, it's back up to a third HP. He goes ahead and goes for the Earthquake, I'm like, oh, I hope I can take that. I can take that quite well, because I am a physical wall, carry the Aviolite. Um, that is great. So gonna, he's going to withdraw Sand Slash, predicting my Giga Drain or something like that. Out is going to come Audino. I actually go ahead and do the double switch, predicting hidden the switch. Send out my uh, Rotom, and I'm thinking, okay, this uh, this Audino is probably running a similar shot to my Audino. If I trick it at a Choice Scarf, it'll be excellent. Instead, he protects, and so now he knows that I've, I've got the, I'm trying to trick off my Choice Scarf, and so I'm going to switch out, predicting him to switch into something that would actually enjoy the Choice Scarf. He switches out his, his Audino, sends out his Rotom. And that would have been bad because had this, I mean, not that this Rotom is great with leftovers, but, oh wait, hold on. Yeah, he tri tricks me his Choice Scarf. So that's awful because now my Hatterack, even though I did actually manage to set up my Stealth Rocks, which is great, I'm thinking he can probably spin those away at any point. And meanwhile, I have a Choice Specs uh, Steelix. That is completely useless. So anyway, uh, switch out into my maybe just to take the special attacks. Now he doesn't have a choice uh, choice specs. I'm sorry, I keep screwing that up. But so his he's a little bit less threatening now. Honestly, I think I would prefer to leave the choice specs and actually be able to do some damage to my team. I was going to come to Sand Slash. I'm like, well, crap. He's going to spin away those rocks and my, all this. I'll spin away my rocks. Spin away my spikes and I'm gonna have to start from scratch except for now my stealth rocker is choice specs so that's now really limiting uh, I'm actually I go ahead and do some stall uh, some protecting here he's accumulating some damage now here I just switch out thing well he's already poisoned nothing I can do I switch out into my Rotom expecting him to rapid spin he said he goes for the earthquake I'm like holy crap did he really just go for the earthquake that's so awesome he didn't predict my move for some reason here I'm able to go for the least storm I have no idea why he didn't switch out his sand slash I take out his spinner and my entry hazards are on the field permanently I have one layer of spikes one layer of, well I mean I have stealth rocks up and so now if I send out my quillfish at any point I can just get up 
up those other two layers of spikes and maybe this won't be such a stally battle. Spoiler alert, yeah, it's still a stally battle. Uh, without any bits removed, I'm looking at 17 minutes, 52 seconds. Uh, and I, I'm not sure if I already said this, it was 77 freaking turns. So, his Entei is probably his best physical attacker and his best choice against maybe, but I go ahead and just wish off here. And I'm gonna, gonna be able to switch out into my uh, Tuesday, and any damage I accumulate, it's going to be healed right back up. Uh, I've got the Intimidate, so that's great. He actually goes for the Flare Blitz, not over-predicting, which is, I guess is a good plan. Uh, he's now down to such low HP, he's got his Life Orb, so I'm thinking, well, there's no real reason to do anything except for set up my Spikes. So I set up Spikes, and this is excellent, his Stone Edge missed a great bit of hacks for me, and I'm not going to attack him, I'm not going to bother. I mean, I could take him out with an Aqua Jet, but what's the point? He's going to take out himself with a Stone Edge, and he's not really doing much damage to me. I get off my third layer of Spikes, I've got three layers of Spikes up, I've got my Stealth Rock up, if only I had someone who had uh, Toxic Spikes, I could get the Trifecta, and that would be awesome, but that's not going to happen. Uh, out's going to come maybe as he sends out his Rotom, and you're going to see this a lot. Every time he sends out his Rotom, I send out my Audino. Every time I send out my Audino, he sends out someone else. Uh, he sends out Archeops here, and I do not want to take a head smash from this guy if it doesn't have, if it's not intimidated and doesn't have the Thetist. Um, so he goes for the head smash. I protect against that, and I'm going to go ahead and switch out here into Steelix, my physical wall. I think I might actually wall this guy because it doesn't look like he carries the Earthquake. It also looks like he might be abandoned. Um, no, he's got the Life Orb. No, no, sorry, that was a Head Smash Recoil. Never mind. But so this is great for me. Uh, his Aldino is back out. Now I'm predicting that this guy's going to just wish. I go ahead and go for the Stone Edge. Not predicting the switch, just wanting to get some damage off. Here he goes for the wish, and now I'm predicting him to send his Archeops back out so he can get back up to full health. So I'm just going to stay in and keep going for the Stone Edges. Instead, he's protect stalling me. Uh, he's consuming my very few Stone Edge PPs, and really I don't have much. Well, I, that's not true. I have maybe to hit Archeops with Aqua Jet, but you know he doesn't really have any attack. Well, no one on my team has attack investment. Let's be honest. So Audino goes ahead and goes for the Wish here, I see that he's not switching out, uh, and I'm going to go for the Giga Drain against his Audino, that's going to be useless. Uh, but I am he's going to go ahead and Toxic me, and that's not going to be great, but I do have someone on my team with Heal Bell. So, I mean, my Audino has Heal Bell, so I'm not really worrying too much about the Toxic at this point, because I know that at some point I am bound to be in a position where Audino can use Heal Bell. Man, Aldino's such a great Pokemon. He's running pretty much... I think he's actually running the identical set to mine. I think he shows me that he uses Heal... Well, I know he shows me that he uses Heal Bell later. I don't know what I'm saying. This is like my third or fourth time watching this battle. Uh, anyway, his Rotom is now going to be back up to full HP thanks to that Aldino's Wish. Uh, wish support is kind of essential here. And uh, I'll just prolong this match into infinity. Man, okay, so his Rotom goes for the Hidden Power here, expecting to do some damage without having to lower his special attack. He goes ahead and Volt Switches out. I think this is the opportunity that I take to go ahead and go for the Heal Bell, not 100% sure. Out's gonna come as Audino. Maybe I set up, maybe I Toxic it? No, I go. I do go for the Heal Bell here, that's great. So, Gargon is cured of poisoning, Tuesday's Burn is healed, that's really great for me, but his Audino, uh, he's got a bunch of Poison slash Sleeping Pokemon too, so his Heal Bell's gonna be, his, he's gonna use Heal Bell eventually, and that's gonna be uh, not great for me. If only one of us didn't have Heal Bell, then this battle would have been so much shorter. But, man, we both were going for a really stally strategy. Me more so than him. Can't really blame me. I didn't make this team. That was Jade Hex. Jade Hex, I'm, I assume you're watching or you're going to watch it at some point. Thank you for this amazing team. Here, I wish I'd done some good prediction and prevented his Archeops from getting that wish. Here, he takes out my Rotom. That's awful. That is so awful. Oh, he's Choice Scarfed. I was expecting to outspeed. Yeah, so Choice Scarfed. Uh, that sucks. So, but his... That does mean that I'll know for the future that he's definitely locked into one move at a time. He goes for the Hidden Power here on his Rotom. That's going to take out my Tangela, and here's where I'm thinking the battle is lost for me. Now, since the first battle I had with this team, I have not lost an RU match. Uh, the first battle wasn't actually with this, well it wasn't with this team, it's just with one crucial difference, and that was that it had Dragonair instead of Steelix, and Dragonair was a useless piece of crap. So yeah, poison is Audino, his Audino is already poisoned, worthless. But anyway, I have not lost the battle since then, and I was, uh, telling, I was telling that to my Latios, well, 
You're, this is about to be historic. You're about you're the first per you're gonna be the first person to defeat this team in this configuration. And he's like, I don't know. Yeah, the battle's still far from over, but I'm like, you took out you've now taken out like three of my Pokemon. Um, I just got three really stall yeah, I mean and my Hedorak has choice specs. What am I gonna do? Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to just lock myself into Dragon Tail because Dragon Tail has a decent number of PP, and it's going to allow me to get the most out of my uh, entry hazards. But anyway, I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, I'm going to just do a straight switch, so that's why I send out my maybe. Or maybe I was predicting, well, he can't toxic anyway. I knew, I knew that it was Pokemon. I have no idea why I sent out Tuesday instead of just following through with the uh, Dragon Tails. But out's going to come Rotom. Going to go for the Waterfall here. Yeah, that's useful. Uh, going to want to switch out because I don't want to take a Volt Switch. Uh, yeah, I'm at, I'm at half health. I go ahead and send out Maybe, who is really a good counter no matter what he uses. He goes for the Volt Switch, uh, doesn't really do too much damage, as, you know, it's never done any any damage. I was going to come Archeops, going to take 25% health from those rocks, and uh, I don't think I can take a hit again. I mean, come on, this is a little monotonous by this point. Uh, I'm just recovering a little bit of health, I withdraw, I go into my Hatterack, who is a pretty good wall for them, now that I know what he's locked himself into, he goes for the head smash, I actually avoid the attack, he's gonna go out here into his Alamomola, I think I go for the Dragon Tail, look at how much damage that Alamomola takes, Alamomola is not gonna be doing to be particularly happy, so here, I get Archeops de um, Defeatist, he does actually carry the Earthquake, but it's not gonna do too much to me because of Defeatist, I go for the Dragon Tail again, he's gonna be down to maybe a quarter, and I'm not sure whether entry hazards are going to kill him on the next time he switches out. So Rotom C is back out. Don't know if I can take a Leaf Storm. Don't want to find out. Send out maybe to take that Leaf Storm, uh, and it's going to take it quite well. He's going to be at minus two. I'm at half health. Uh, you know, it's all good in the hood. Uh, maybe he's going to recover some health with leftovers. He's going to go ahead and Volt Switch out of there. Again, you know, this is what keeps happening. So out's gonna come Archeops and he dies to injury hazards, so that's great! I've taken out his Archeops as I go for the wish, and that is really the only saving grace here that I've now taken out one of his big sweepers. He's got, I'm trying to think who he's got left. He's got Alamola, he's got um, Rotom C, he's got Audino. So he's got three left. I go ahead and toxic his Alamola. But he can just wish protect, stall me out, switch out back into his Audino, uh, use Heal Bell, and this is going to be repeated a lot over the next five minutes. He's going to go ahead and toxic me, just forcing me to waste a turn Heal Belling. Also, it might. I would, at this point, we were worried that it would get down to either a struggle war or a point where we're starting to run out of moves, uh, like uh, Heal Bell, for instance, because I think Heal Bell only has 8 PP, so presumably we could get to a point where we would run out of heal bells. Anyway, gonna send out Tuesday, yeah, Intimidate, not, I mean, this guy's not really gonna attack much. I mean, they often carry Aqua Jet, because it's good to have a attacking move just in case you get taunted and it's your last Pokemon. But, yeah, I mean, I, I wall him completely, he's gonna go out into Rotom C, and I'm going to predict this and go for the Poison Gem, like, DIE, BASTARD! Had I had some attack investment, maybe I could have killed- I get the poison hacks, but it doesn't matter because he's got the wish, and so he's not going to die. And it looks like he would have died had I not gotten the- oh well. Audino's back out. He's going to Volt Switch out. I think he's going to uh, Volt Switch back into his Audino. But even though I've watched this battle like three or four times, I honestly cannot remember. Actually, he sends out Alamomola. Uh, going to take a lot of damage from those entry hazards, but it's not going to be enough to kill him even after poison damage. And I just, you know, there's nothing I can do against him with my Audino, but I think I am going to use this turn to Heal Bell. He goes ahead and goes for the Wish. I'm either going to Wish or Heal Bell. I do go for the Wish, so that makes sense. Uh, his Elmo is probably going to protect the next turn, so I'll probably just wish on my own. Actually, he has no reason to protect. He knows at this point that I don't have any attacking moves. He goes ahead and toxics me. That's that's a smart move. Here I go for the wish. I actually have no idea why he... Oh, right, because he got the wish. I was going to say, why didn't he switch out? Um, well, actually, switching out would have been really stupid, but protecting would have been... The, I was thinking would be the better move, but uh, never mind. Uh, he's poisoned. I thought the poison would kill him. It didn't. Uh, this battle is such a pain to narrate. Nothing's happening! Nothing's happening at all! Tuesday's out. Uh, Intimidate. Yeah, like that's gonna do any good. Out, he's gonna go ahead and wish. So the next Pokemon he sends out will get some health back. Although it looks like he might just stay in. 
Uh, he doesn't really have much choices. Uh, he goes ahead and protects here. And my laptop just went to sleep, but I just woke it up, so hopefully that didn't interrupt the recording. Uh, Alamo's well, wish came true. Not really much I can do. I think I'm just going to go for the poison jabs just to get some damage off on him. He goes ahead and withdraws, goes out into his Audino. Uh, Audino is not really going to fear anything. Uh, poison jab, I don't think it's a no. I mean, look at how little that damage is. I don't think we've, we're running the same EV spread. I go for the waterfall, just, you know, it, actually that did a decent chunk of damage. He goes for the heal bell here. Um, lots of Pokemon, cure to poisoning, blah, blah, blah. Go for the poison jab. Can I kill? Can I kill? Yes, I actually killed his Audino. So that's great. Now he's down to just Rotom C and uh, Alamomola. I'm going to switch out. This battle is hope. Uh, this battle is starting to look better for me. I'm hoping that maybe I can win. I'm not sure. Uh, he goes ahead and goes for the Leaf Storm. I survive, and but I am poisoned, and I'm not sure that I can take another round of Leaf Storm and poison, and it's, it's all a matter of, well, if he gets a crit, I'm screwed. He goes for the Hidden Power. I go for the Heal Bell. I survive with 83 HP. Had he gone for the Leaf Storm, I would have been a little lower, but not much lower. Um, so up to 108, I'm going to go ahead and just protect here. He's going to go ahead and go for the Leaf Storm, just hoping to take me out with a crit. Uh, I'm not going to give him that opportunity. I'm back up to 133. He's going to go ahead and Volt Switch out. I think I go for the Toxic, but I'm not positive. Uh, maybe I go for the Wish. Almamola is back out. Uh, gets a lot of damage from the Spikes and Entry Hazards. I go for the Wish, yeah, so I do go for the Wish. Uh, he's going to recover back up a little bit of health with Leftovers. Uh, and I think I... Oh, he goes for the Aqua Jet thinking maybe he can take me out. Nah, nah, sorry. I get him toxic but, you know, he can just wish protect that away. And it's not going to be a big issue. He is at too low of HP to switch out, though, I think. So he's going to have to stay in for at least one more turn. Uh, he's going to go ahead and toxic me. Actually, now that I think of it, like, he's gonna, he, the only hope that he would have would been wish protecting, and he didn't do that. So now his Alma Mola is going to die because either he's going to switch out now, or he's going to. Yeah, I mean, he can't survive one more round of poison, and uh, if he can't survive another round of entry hazards without the wish protect. So I send out Hatterack here. He goes for the wish, but again, he's going to die the next turn thanks to poison. So that was a miscalculation on my opponent's part. And that is going to cost him his Alma Mola. So it dies to poison, and that's excellent. And this is actually the end of the battle because it's at this point that he decides to run. So great game, great epic match. Uh, that's my Latios. Hope you folks weren't too incredibly bored. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.